Hey guys, and welcome to this small metrics video on multiplying decimals. Multiplying decimals may seem like a daunting challenge, but in this video, we'll show you the techniques you need to decimate this decimal dilemma. In order to understand decimals, you first have to understand place value. Every number has a value based on its place relative to the other numbers. Let's look at the number 1,762. Based on place value, the number to the far left has the largest value. In this case, the number farthest to the left is in the thousandths place. The second number farthest to the left, our seven, is in the hundredths place. The third number, six, is in the tens place. And then our last number here, which is farthest to the right, is in the ones place. Here's another way to think through this. So what we see when we do that is we should be able to multiply whatever number is in a specific place value. We should be able to take that number and multiply it times its place value. So in this case, it's in the thousands place. So we should be able to multiply it by a thousand, multiply seven by 100, six by 10, and then two by one. And so again, we're multiplying every number by its place value. And then when we add it all up, we should get the total, which is equal to our number. So now any number behind our last number, so in this case, two, is called the tenths place. And this is where decimals come into play. Let's look at 1,762.8. The point eight behind the number two equals eight tenths of one whole. So that was a review of numbers in their place value. Let's take a look at how to actually multiply decimals. You multiply decimals just like you would normal whole numbers. The trick is understanding how and when to move the decimal point so you get the right answer. We'll use this equation to show how it's done. Remember place value. That means 45 and 18 hundredths multiplied by 0.5 or 5 tenths. So let's figure this out. In solving this problem, pretend just for a moment that the decimal point isn't there. That would give you this equation. You don't need the zero since it doesn't add anything to the equation. If we solve this equation, we get But we're not done. We have to figure out where to place the decimal. Here's how you do that. Go back to the original equation and count how many numbers are behind each decimal point. In this case, there are three. Two here and then one here. We're almost done. Now that we know there are three numbers behind the decimals, we go back to our answer and place the decimals three places from the last number. So the first number we got was 22,590. But remember, we have to move our decimal point three places to the left because we had three numbers behind our decimal point here. So when we do that, our decimal point ends up right after our 22. So our final answer is 22.59. So that's our look at multiplying decimals. As you can see, the concept seems much harder than it actually is. If you understand place value and how to move the decimals in the right place, you'll do just fine. I hope that this video was helpful. See you guys next time.